Hey guys, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. It's your boy Desmond, and on today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about modules. Now, before we start talking about modules, I want to explain something to you guys first of all because I've been getting this confusion between modules, packages, and of course, libraries in Python. Now, when you write scripts in Python or when you try to code in Python, most especially in QPython 3, that's for Android. And a lot of people have been having issues importing modules from um, maybe trying to install modules or just trying to import modules. They have been getting different errors. Well, not all modules in Python can work on QPython 3 because there are specifically some modules that work on Windows. Now, if you're trying to build something like um, a GUI, I think you'll be talking about Tinkinta, but a GUI cannot be built right here on QPython 3 because you can't use your Android to actually build the Windows but there are also several modules that can work perfectly fine in your QPython 3 now let's take for example the math module when you're talking about mathematics, solving equations and those kind of stuff things like NumPy those modules can work fine on QPython 3 now a package in Python may be described as the collection of modules now remember, a module is a script in Python, simply a script. When you write codes and you just save them as a script, then that's a module, maybe solved with a .py extension, that's a Python script. Now when these modules are combined, they become a package. Now say you wanted to install, let's say pandas. When you try to install pandas, sometimes you get the collection of um, the NumPy and some other modules joining it to give you the whole pandas module. Now these modules may work differently, but sometimes when you want to work in projects like mathematical projects or gathering data from different stuff, different sources, then this can be very, very useful. Now let's head on to a Python library. Our Python library can simply be described as a collection of functions and methods. Now when you have a Python library, and you have a Python package and also a Python module, you can see the relationship between these three stuffs. They're all interjoined. But a module is just a script, a package is a collection of module, that's a collection of scripts, and then you can see a library is the collection of functions and methods. Now without more wasting time, let's just get right to this tutorial so I can explain to you guys how it works. Now, first of all, when importing the module, I'm just going to show you guys a brief example now, and then in the next tutorial, we'll talk about other stuff. Now, when importing the module in Python, let's say there's a module called math, we all know that already. So, I'm going to try to import the module. Now, when you try to import the module, you get something like import, and this is a keyword, so that's the green color right here. And you try to, in case you guys didn't notice, I kind of upgraded my Android, that's what you're seeing, this kind of stuff here. Some stuff has changed and you try to import a math module, let's say math. Now when you import this module, this module right here that is named math is a script in Python that is stored inside here in QPython 3. Now we can use this module in several ways, but I'm just going to show you guys a brief example. Now let's say math.squareRoot and then open parentheses and then, and then uh, close it up. Yep. Now, when you try to do this and you had a 25 inside of here, now this is going to look for the square root of this number. And of course, I have to print this out. So let's just do that. PRNT and that. Yeah. So it's been long since I use this module. So forgive me if I get any errors. If I don't, then we're good to go. But let's see. Um, yeah. Now, you see that the answer here is 5.0. Now this module right here named Math, it's a mathematics module that helps you solve mathematical questions in different ways. It's just a module, very very common, very very useful, do not forget that guys. And there are other uses you can use modules to do, Python packages, I'll talk to you guys on this in the next video. But for now, I'll see you guys next time, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and your name might be in my next video. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys next time, it's Desmond.